All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation, and hopefully they got there pushing this word of truth. And it's a series across the four winds in the name of Behold Bashim Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful like the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And what I want to get into this morning, you know, is pretty much, you know, responding, you know, to a lesson done by the elder brothers of Hob, you know, dealing with how, you know, we're going to have to stand, all right, on these words, all right? We are going to have to stand <clears throat> on what's written, you know? And that's going to be, you know, and uh, that's going to be a token of our faith, you know, on how we maneuver in times of chaos, you know, in the times where we're going to have to make decisions, you know, based on who he is, you know? And that's the thing that we have to understand that we have to make decisions and judgments based on the fact that he is. All right, that Yahweh Bashim Shai is in complete control. No matter what, you know how we go into a circumstance, or no matter what, you know, it looks like because it's gonna look, <laughs> it's gonna be jacked up in the time to come on making decisions based on faith, on belief. You know, we're gonna be in a situation where it's gonna look like there's no way out. You know. We're going to be in situations where it would be more convenient, you know, to make a decision based on the flesh, all right, than to make a decision, you know, based in faith, you know, to give in to this system, to bend the knee to bow, which we're going to see a lot of people do once, you know, this thing intensifies, all right, because it hasn't reached, you know, the level all right, well, it's immediate life and death, you know, based on, you know, decision making. You see, people can quit jobs now, all right, and still, you know, manage, you know, within this society. You know, it's still, you know, a, a sacrifice, you know, but it ain't to the point where, you know, <laughs> Your decision can be intimate death, you know, at that moment. Like during the time of the uh, the Seven Brothers, all right, and the Maccabees, the time of, you know, Eleazar, all right. Their decision making at that moment, you know, was the difference between imminent death, but they stood on what they believed. They stood on their faith. And when you read the Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible, all right, to please him, all right? For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek them. Yeah, because one thing about it, you know, it's impossible to please the Heavenly Father without faith because without faith, that's going to affect your decision making. You know, there's people that, that know that they're Israelites. All right. They probably don't eat pork and shrimp. But when it comes to, you know, pressure situations, you know, they move based according to the flesh and not according to faith. And that's. And, and moving like that, you can't please the most high. Yeah, you kept the law to the best of your ability, but when it came time to move and make a decision based on he is, all right, and if we don't make that decision based on he is, then that's unpleasing to the Heavenly Father. There's going to be a lot of Israelites that's going to be unpleasing because you got Jake already saying, you know, God wants you not to have a job. Well, God wants you not to, you know, not to eat. Well, he said we was going to eat. So that means that we're not subjugated to, all right, 
the wicked decrees of Esau Edom, you know, just to eat. All right? Yahweh Bashim al said we was going to eat. What do we have? He said that the birds of the field, all right, they gather not or store in born houses, yet my heavenly Father feed them daily. You see? And that's what Yahweh Shah was telling the disciples because he wanted the disciples to move in the spirit of what he is. Don't worry about all that. He is. You just keep being obedient. You just keep standing stiffly, all right, in the name. We just got to keep, you know, being unmovable, all right? And let our lights be shining more and more until that perfect day, as the scriptures say. Verse 7. It says, By faith, Noah being warned of the Most High, things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, all right, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir, all right, and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. You see, and what are we doing? We're, we're building this spiritual ark. And Noah was moved by fear, which means he feared not completing that ark above everything in the earth, above people criticizing him and, you know, mocking him and, you know, trying to make it seem as if, you know, he was bugged out for what he was doing and what he was preaching, you know? He had the mind frame to finish in a wicked society. He had the mind frame to finish and be obedient. And his obedience condemned the rest of the world which got them destroyed you see and we're in that same stead and he became what an heir of righteousness which is a, 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 a Noah is a joint heir to the righteous kingdom wherever he is in this day and time alright when Yahweh Shah comes alright he's going to get that reward of being a joint heir This is what we're fighting for. All right? So we're coming to the time where we're going to have to stand, all right, on what we believe, what we've been preaching. We're going to have to stand on it, on what's written. We're going to have to make a decision based off a precept. Something that's written in the Bible, all right, we're going to have to make life and death decisions based off of what's written in the Bible. You know? And then their decision will seem like it's going to lead to death. The most I can intervene. All right? And if he don't, and we die honorable death for your house, shot, we die in your house, shot, we're going to be resurrected. So we got to make decisions based on what's written, man. We got to stand on this, man. It's the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, the soul, behold, his soul, and, and his, all right, is Esau, Edom, which is lifted up. Is not upright in him, yeah. Esau Edom has become proud, all right, within his rulership, and the things that he's going to bring forth is very wicked. His soul, his mindset is not upright, all right. He's going to bring some very, you know, uh, uh, grievous, wicked decrees, man. You know, and it's going to be aimed at the believers of Yahweh Shah. But within that, what does the scripture say? But the just shall live by faith, which means what? Faith, all right, is a lifestyle. If we live by faith, that's our lifestyle. Our decision-making is based on faith and what's written. You know? Our decision-making is based solely off faith and what's written. You know? So we in the time now where we're going to have to stand on everything all right that we say we believe in man so lord will you brothers you know your few sisters were edified to the next time i say shallow one from yashallah or bible bow dta soon